So you want to immigrate to Canada and thinking if you should or not fill out the PR application. You must have heard all the great things about Canada. From all immigration consultants and lawyers, they have skin in the game and they benefit from you coming here. I gain zero from your decision one way or the other. And I do not recommend you come to Canada. This video is about the PR process and I will not cover the spouse sponsorship, student or business visa. Canada is a great country, but not as much as they make it out to be. I bet your home country is great. Canada is just another dangling carrot. There are always positives and negatives of every decision. I want you to make this decision very carefully. I can tell you hundreds of stories, real stories, to prove each of my point here that I'm about to share with you. And maybe I will share some of those interviews in future videos and get into the details. Here is what I learned in my last 20 years here in Canada. Canada has a lot of natural resources that they cannot sell or run their country with it. They are not anywhere close to big tech, which is US or in manufacturing, which is in China. So they have land, lots of land and less population, fewer people which is changing slowly, but then how do you make this country work with those natural resources? Bring more people. That's ingenious. Great business idea. Pay attention. Business model. Let us explore how this is a business model. Look at this chart. All the people that come here from countries like India, Nigeria, Philippines, China, and others. Um, you are cream of your country. You have higher degrees. You have worked for 10 years in your field. You have already made a lot of money and saved some, of course. What will you do with all this wealth after you immigrate to another country? Bring it there, is it not? You will come here, work small jobs. Your qualification will not be validated here. It will not be the same. You won't get the job in the same profession at the same level right away, trust me. Work small jobs, run their economies. Is it not the criteria of your immigration PR application? Are there point system? They are based on these criteria. They are set in certain ways so they can pick you. So it is all about money, economy. Now let's, Say, if everybody coming here brings 10,000 US dollar in pocket, just minimum, everybody on an average, they bring a lot more than that. But this is the minimum, bare minimum. So let's talk about it. So 10,000 US dollars, 13,000 Canadian dollars. So, you know, just rough calculations. Half a million people coming here every year. That's six and a half billion dollars. Let's you come here, contribute to their economy. Let's say upwards of $2 billion. Total $8.5 billion every year. That's the business Canada gets from you coming here. So let's get one, this, one thing straight you, that you need to understand. You are the commodity. You may want to come here. Canada is not doing you any favor. They benefit from you coming here. So... Not the other way around. So let's agree that immigration is a business. Now let's talk about the numbers. How many immigrants come here? Uh, let's show a couple of research items that I took a screenshot of. You can easily find them on Google. Just Google them. Um, 320,000 immigrants. Uh, there was a target in 2018 to have million, 1 million immigrants here by 2020. So, which is half a million every year. Uh, U.S. Department also did some research. U.S. does not have as high of immigration every year as Canada, but look at their numbers. So, people complaining about, oh, immigrants come here and have negative impact on economy. No, that's the, on the contrary. They benefit 21 billion every year. Now, imagine the, that number. 
my numbers are very conservative that I talked about 8.2, 8.5 billion. But this is way more than 8.5. Now, let's talk about my rationale, what I am talking about and why. So I will go, you know, at a high level point by point and I will make more videos just so I don't go um, make this video too long. Um, I will make more videos about each of those topics and I'll try to explain in short what that means. Um, number of immigrants, it's a business target. We established it like a sales target it is. Um, 300,000 immigrants, we saw a couple of um, research items on, on this. Target is 500,000, half a million every year. Now with that said, if half a million keeps coming here, population is increasing every year. Situation will keep getting worse. If there are more people, more lineups, everything will just divide by that number. So given that population is increasing, new immigrants have started to go back. The trend started a couple of years ago. You can find other videos where people are talking about, okay, why they're just leaving Canada. I'm not by any means disgruntled or angry immigrant. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to present these facts to you. So you have all the information and your expectations set before you decide to come here. That's my only purpose. <clears throat> politics is getting worse. Now it is a vote bank politics. Uh, this government go out of their way to announce and receive immigrants. Syria, Afghanistan, now Ukraine. I understand the human side of it, but it's more of an opportunity for, for the government. They bring them here, it's a vote bank, they will get their votes. Uh, when you come here, there are very low chances you will find a job. There are tons of jobs, small jobs, but your qualification will not be validated. They will not, you know, consider that. Doc I've seen doctors doing labor work for years, engineers working in factories professionals working in Walmart, uh, just the retail store, just the minimum wage, students and everybody, everybody knows they work in McDonald's, Tim Hortons, you can just see them everywhere. So there's a lot of struggle um, and you have to pump money into the system. Again, it is about money, no jobs. Very rare that you will find it in your field right away. That doesn't happen. I haven't seen um, that happening unless you go to a very small city, very small province and nobody is going there and you happen to be there and they hire you, which is a very, um, let's say 1% chance. Not everyone is racist here in Canada. There are a few nice people, uh, but racism, totally exists, totally exists. And you will feel it in your experience. You will feel it in many places when you are treated differently. That will happen for sure. Um, now talk about the job. If they don't have a choice like a technical developer, Canadian people are not that, you know, I'm not saying there are no Canadian developers, there are, but uh, most of the jobs and people are not that many available to do that work. So yes, you will get that job. Uh, promotion, um, you will not get any promotions either. You will realize it when you will do a great job, maybe two people's job alone, and the other person with a subpar skill set sitting next to you, gets the promotion and becomes your manager. So get used to it. Next, I wanna talk about inflation. It's through the roof. Super expensive, everything is going up and up, um, like there is no tomorrow. Federal government keeps printing money. Uh, good luck if you can afford to buy a home in a major city. Small cities, yes, you can still afford. Big cities, it's 
impossible at these interest rates for a new person to buy home today. Let's talk about healthcare. That's another topic that I want to cover here. Um, wait times are enormous. Healthcare is free. You get to see the doctor free for, you know, uh, family doctor. It's a 10 days appointment. So if you have a flu or fever, by the time you get to see the doctor, you will be better anyways. So what's the point of that appointment? So better bring your own medicines, full kit, and your home family doctor's number from your country. So you have him on speed dial. Situation is getting worse every day. Population is increasing and the lineups are getting longer and longer. It's getting worse. Now, my opinion, don't get me wrong. Canada is a great country. There are good things about Canada that I will highlight in some of the videos. You must have heard from other consultants, immigration consultants, lawyers. I don't have to repeat them. You probably know that's why you're considering the decision. But it's not worth leaving everything back home, your parents, family, friends, and come here and become average. That's the point I want to highlight. You will become average. There is no outshining, especially in Canada. If you want to outshine, go to US. So you will face racism. We covered that topic in detail. However subtle it is, you will realize it. Inclusivity and diversity, new things. Everybody hears about these words. They are just buzzwords. And <clears throat> I have seen organizations hiring one black person, one brown, one Asian. Let's take a photo, put them on the site. And that's where that ends. They will hire them, never give them any job that can make a difference or any decision power in the organization. They cannot change anything. No policies, nothing. They're just there, just the face. So it's for the namesake. Um, there, it's a smiley. Uh, that makes me smile. So if you're, <clears throat> so here's my opinion. If you are doing average or below average and you don't have a chance of better future or growth or surviving in your country and you qualify for the PR system, please apply and come here you will probably be happy because you are average there you are average here you won't feel a damn thing you will be happy if you're doing well and you have a great future in your country you are doing well you know just business wise job wise career growth whatever do not make the mistake to come here you will never be happy for the rest of your life you will become average and you are shining there in your home country, you will not be happy, don't come here. Um, that's my opinion, but decision is all yours. I will keep giving you these information in other videos, talking about each of these points in detail, what happens here. So make this decision very carefully, keep watching, thank you.